Hi, Samantha. Thanks for sending your question. Um, there are lots of ways to factor a trinomial. I always use something called the star method. I swear by it. I love it. So I'm going to uh, do this problem using that method. It goes a little something like this. You form the star. It's just an X with a horizontal line through it. In this top triangle, we multiply the outside numbers. So it would be these two numbers for this specific example. And we put them in there. And then in the bottom triangle, we put the inside number. On the top left and right left triangles, we put the first number only. So let's go ahead and apply it to this example. We're going to multiply the outside numbers and we're going to put the product in the top triangle. So 10 times 15 is 150. So that's what goes up here. In the bottom triangle, we just put the inside number. So negative 31. Got to count that negative. And then in the top left and top right triangle, we just put the 10. You'll see why we do that in a minute. So we are looking for two numbers that add to 100, I mean that multiply to 150 and add to negative 31. So multiply to 150 and add to negative 31. So multiply to the top and add to the bottom. Let's go ahead and factor 150 to see if we can find any factors of 150 that add to 31, and then we'll just stick negatives on them. So 150, well, I know it's 50 times 3, so let's start there. 50 times 3 is 150. 50 plus 3 is 53. That does not add to 31. Let's go ahead and factor the next um, biggest number here. So if I factor 50, I know that's 25 times 2. And let's see, 25 plus 2 times 3. 25 times 6, if I add that together, ooh, it's 31. Okay, so I got the right numbers, I just have to get the right signs. So I have two factors that multiply to 150. And now I just have to get them to add to 31. Well, coincidentally, negative 25 and negative 6 also add to 150. And they add to negative 31. So those are the terms that we're looking for. Let's go ahead and box these. We're going to treat them like fractions now. Meaning, if these have common factors, you can now reduce. So if this were just a fraction problem, I would say, oh, 10 and negative 25 have common factors, a common factor of 5. So I would reduce this to 2 over negative 5, factoring out the 5 from both of them. 10 and negative 6 looks like they have a common factor of 2. So if I factor 2 out of 10, I will get 5. And if I factor 2 out of negative 6, I will get negative 3. We're going to put an x next to the number on the top. And those are our factors. So this equation factors into 2x minus 5 times 5x minus 3. Um, so that's the final answer for your first problem. Now let's take a look at your second one, 66. 4x squared minus 11x plus 6. We're going to go ahead and use the star method again. Um, I know it's a little difficult at first, but it eliminates any guessing, which is why this method is so great. So in the top triangle, we're going to multiply the outside numbers and put that number in there. 4 times 6 is 24. In the bottom triangle, we just put the inside number, negative 11. In the top left and top right triangles, I just put the first number, 4 and 4. 
I am looking for two numbers that multiply to the bottom, all right, that multiply to the top and add to the bottom. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to 24 and add to negative 11. Let's factor 24 and we'll see if we can get anything that adds to 11 and then we'll just stick a negative on it. See, 24, hmm. Well, I know 24 factors into 12 and 2. If I add 12 plus 2, I get 14. That is not 11. So let's try again. 12 and 2 factors into 6 and 2. Um, so 6 times 4 adds to 24. 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. That is not 11 either. Let's keep factoring. 3 times 2 gives us 6. 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So 3 times 8 is 24. 3 plus 8 is 11. We are golden, those are our factors. But we don't want them to add to positive 11, we want them to add to negative 11. So let's just stick a negative on there. And those are the factors we're gonna work with. Let's box these puppies. And we are gonna reduce them like fractions. Four and negative three do not have any common factors, so we can leave that one alone. And four and negative eight sure do though. They both have a four in common. So factoring out the 4 from 4, I get 1, and factoring out the 4 from negative 8, I get negative 2. We're going to go ahead and stick an x next to the numbers on top. So this equation will factor into 4x minus 3 times x minus 2. Thanks for your question, Samantha, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.